This season, I'm going to mix my smoky black eyeshadow with a little bit of purple. So for the base color, I'm going to be using my gel liner. Now I'm going to use my second color and this one's from Makeup Studio and it's a beautiful purple color. It's called Violet Vanity. I'm just going to use a little bit of pigment. Pigments are available in all the cosmetic companies. You can pick it up from L'Oreal to Crayon to MAC to Inglot, Colorbar, Faces. They all have beautiful colored pigments. And I love to use pigments because it gives that transparency as well as giving it a little bit of a highlight and shine. So I'm just using it on the outskirts of the purple, on both sides, on the top and the bottom. So I'm using a big crease line brush for the top area. Right here. So this is my smaller crease line brush. And I'm just going to deposit a little bit of the same color pigment, which is the purple, underneath the lash line. And I'm just gonna blend it straight into the top outer edges of the eyeshadow. I'm applying the pigment right on the paint pot and just blending it straight through into the tops of the eye area. Going into the brow bone area. So I'm just leaving a little bit of space for my highlight. I'm using a highlighting eyeshadow from Christian Dior. And I'm using it with a smudger brush right underneath the brows. This is called the brow bone area. So I'm working my product into the brows also. I just want it looking really natural. In a corner. Just to give it that beautiful dewy look in the eyes. Just making sure that you keep blending the colors into the other colors as well. Just blending it out. And there we have the colors. Now the only other thing which I have to do now is eyelining, mascara, and just shaping of the brows. So it's really important to do the brows at this stage because the eyes are so strong, the brows also have to be strong to carry the eye makeup through. So doing that arch in an upside down V and then using your wand. Or if you don't have a wand, you can use a baby toothbrush. Now I'm gonna use a waterproof cold pencil. This is by Faces, right on top of the eyelid, next to the lash line. I've already used a gel liner, so I don't feel the need of using a gel liner again. This pencil really does it for me. It gives a beautiful, shiny, strong look, which is what I want. If you want, you can blend it through or you can just leave it like that. Now, if you want to blend this through, use an angular chisel brush and just blend the edges out before it dries. I'm gonna use the same product underneath the eyes and I'm gonna use my pencil right on the edge of my brush. 
so right on the lash line I'm using the same product I'm using it like a gel liner and it's as good as a gel liner because it's waterproof also and it's such a strong color and it takes about five to ten seconds to dry so within that time you've got to work really fast and just blend the product because once it dries it's really difficult to blend now just to open up the eyes a little I'm gonna use a skin tone cardial inside the waterline of the eyes this will just brighten them up and it'll just open up the eyes. I would not suggest you to use a black inside because it'll just make the eyes a little bit smaller. So you want the eyes to look big and bright and colorful. Lastly, I'm going to use my mascara just to open up the eyes. So all the way through on the bottom of the lashes. let it dry and then you can move up to the top now if you feel there's any clumping in the mascara you can always use a wand just to take off the extra product from the lashes and now just a final coat of mascara on the top of the lashes from the inner corner to the outer corner making sure that they look nice and thick and long Okay, and that's how we get our beautiful smoky eye makeup look. For more videos on beauty and makeup, log on to onlymyhealth.com.